Hey guys, uh, welcome to your new moon reading. Uh, this is going to be for Libra. You could apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Uh, so this is the new moon that's occurring in Pisces, okay, on March 2nd. So we're going to take a look at what you guys need to know, what's surrounding you guys. Uh, keep in mind that this could be in anything. Nothing, nothing specific here. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. It also could be a situation that you know that someone's going through this. Uh, keep in mind that these messages are general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified um, when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. And tapping into the collective Libra. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, also, a uh, quick note that there are impersonators out there on Instagram that's impersonating me, trying to ask people for money. Just be careful. I would never reach out to you on Instagram asking you for money, nor do I own uh, a temple, okay? The only time that I'm reaching out to someone for money is uh, when someone books a private personal reading with me and I'm just personally emailing you to confirm payment, date, time, platform being used for the reading, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you do come across this individual, for those of you guys that have Instagram, please report this individual, okay? I did post up um, uh, screenshots of the individual that's impersonating me. Not quite sure if this person is still on there or is off. Uh, this person is using two R's in my, uh, 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 in, in my name. So um, yeah, if you could report this person, that would be much appreciated. Just be careful not to get scammed. All right, let's get started. We're gonna pull Oracle messages and then we'll get into the uh, tarot. All right, what messages do we have for Libra regarding this new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd, 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does uh, Libra need to know? What is surrounding Libra regarding this new moon in Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? We have listen. And then we have rebuild on the bottom of the deck here. You know, you guys might be learning to be better listeners or that you might be in this energy of trying to tune into your intuition more. You know, you might be seeking help on how to rebuild something here, perhaps to rebuild something in your life. Uh, but let's just see what else we have here. Right, what else do we have for Libra here? What else do we have for Libra regarding this new moon in Pisces? We have keep your heart open. Seems like you might be unblocking or working on opening up your heart chakra here. Okay. Um, Libra energy right here. First quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the, trust the universe. So there's this energy of really trusting your intuition here and opening up your third eye chakra here, okay? So um, Aquarius energy right there. You might have Aquarius in your chart. So I feel like you guys are trying to build up your intuition abilities, okay? You know, with teach, I feel like you might be teaching people how to do that or you're learning from someone, learning how to do that, okay? What else do we have for Libra here regarding this new moon in Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, improving health. Thing, you know, maybe your health is improving, but I feel like with improving health, it could be just, 
you know, your life getting better in general. And I feel like you might be taking some sort of opportunity here to do something or make something of what your uh, experience is right now. Okay. Let's see what else we have here for Libra. Getting into the tarot now. All right. What messages do we have for Libra regarding this new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd, 2022? Sun rising in Venus, Jupiter signs. What else does Libra need to know? We have the Two of Swords, okay? And then we have the Six of Swords. There's an energy of definitely maybe getting out of your ego here and getting out of this energy of being really indecisive here, okay? So I feel like you're just going with the flow here, Libra. So let's just see what else we have here. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps you're trying to really get out of your head. We have the Hermit in the reverse. And then we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse here. You know, I feel like you're overcoming your fears here and I feel like you're learning to trust, okay? But I do feel like, you know, maybe for some of you guys, you're working on also uh, trying to be alone, you know, trying to be better at being alone because I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you have fears about being by yourself, okay? Um, nine of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're overcoming fears here. You're overcoming your stress and anxiety. I feel like you're really trying to get out of your head. Uh, we have Virgo energy with that Hermit in the reverse. Okay. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have the Ace of Swords here. I do feel like some of you guys might be... Um, going through some sort of health uh, health issue but i do feel like that is going to start balancing out okay i don't really do health readings but that's showing up here um so i do feel like you know if you've gone through something here things are going to get better okay i do feel like it might have been really traumatizing for you emotionally whatever health issue that you went through here okay i don't know maybe it could be a mental health issue perhaps for some of you guys um let's just see what else we have here tell me about the two of swords why is the two of swords here and the seven of wands in the reverse you know i feel like your intuition for a long time might have been blocked and i feel like you're unblocking that okay i feel like you're trying to open that up six of swords six of swords and the eight of swords yeah i feel like you're really trying to get out of your head here Okay, like I said, there's this energy of definitely listening more and, you know, letting the, what you take in flow through you, okay? Um, I feel like you're trying not to or no longer second-guessing yourself. Tell me about the Hermit in the reverse. Why is the Hermit in the reverse here? And the Ace of Pentacles. You know, your heart's opening up. Your intuition is opening up. Perhaps you're opening up your all your chakras here, and I feel like abundance is going to start start flowing in for you, uh, Aquarius. Because I see a new beginning, Aquarius, uh, Libra. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. We do have Aquarius energy here. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but I feel like abundance might be flowing in for you. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse. We have a Queen of Swords. There you are, right here. There's this energy of definitely being perhaps maybe excited about start uh, having this fresh new beginning. But I feel like as you go through, move forward, I feel like there, there will be a struggle here. Because I do feel like for some of you guys, you guys might have a fear of being by yourself. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> I'm getting some of you guys might be really social individuals here. We have the King of Cups here, Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords here. So this is someone that you're dealing with here? So I don't know if you're also cutting someone out. And as you cut this person out, things are going to start getting better for you. 
okay? So I feel like you're basing your decision on cutting someone out, basing on your intuition or basing it on what you have seen with this person so far. Um, because whatever this is, I feel like this person has hurt you multiple times. You're going off to start a new beginning here. You have fears of being alone, but I feel like you're doing it anyway, uh, Libra. Seven of Wands in the reverse. All right, Seven of Wands in the reverse. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're focusing on filling up your own cups here. Okay, in the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. And then we have Three of Swords. Yeah, there's an energy of definitely being stuck in the heartbreak. Someone hurt you here. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like maybe it had, you know, maybe you had, um, maybe it took you a while to make this decision but i feel like you might have really made the decision or you will make this make this decision uh because you know you just no longer want to be unhappy ace of pentacles you got the moon you are facing your fears here i feel like i said maybe you know libra you could have been that type of person that has never been single before okay or that perhaps you, you know, someone here always want, wants people around them. They can't be alone, that sort of thing. Uh, but I feel like there's this energy of really t focusing on oneself and doing things by themselves here. Okay. Um, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Sometimes, you know, it's healthy to have space, have your own space. But however, you know, depending on the person, some people needs it more than the other, uh, needs it more than others. Okay. And that's okay. Um, we have the five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's this energy of perhaps resisting here. I feel like you're no longer resisting, uh, you know, facing these challenges, facing these fears anymore. I feel like you're trying to fight through it. I feel like you're trying to overcome it. Okay. There, there is a bit of resistance here or fear, or there was. Tell me about the king of cups. King of Cups and the Devil. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're breaking away from someone that was really unhealthy for you here. Yeah, and I feel like things might be getting better. I feel like this person could have been making you physically sick. Or that this person did make you sick. You know, uh, this person could have given you little friends down there, if you know what I mean. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. With the Devil card, uh, Capricorn Energy. Ten of Swords and the Magician. Whoever this is, this is a very manipulative person. Okay. Um, you know, I do feel like this person has a way with them, uh, to manipulate you into staying. I just feel like this person has hurt you a lot, um, uh, hurt you a lot, Libra. Uh, Gemini Virgo energy with that magician there. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Look at the hangman. This is you releasing control. Um, you know, just allowing things to be. Uh, because perhaps you were trying to control the situation or that you were trying to control this person in trying to make this person change, okay? Tell me about the uh, Three of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. I just feel like you're not wasting your time and energy on giving to something that's not going to make you happy. That's what I'm feeling here, uh, Libra. Tell me about the Moon. We have the Tower here. There is this energy of definitely trying to accept the change gracefully, even though that you're scared of it. Um, tower, um, airy Scorpio energy. You know, change, is, change can be scary, but you just have to accept it because if you don't, if you resist it, that's going to hinder your growth and your evolution. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse here. You know, so I feel like there's an energy of, you know, probably, you know, not trying to communicate with this person or that you're not spying on this person anymore. You're definitely letting someone go, I feel. Tell me about the devil. Oh, that's too many. Tell me about the devil here. Why is the devil here? Oh. We have the devil, five of cups. Well, whoever this is, this person's feeling some sort of regret about losing someone here. I mean, Libra, you might be really financially independent here. So I feel like this person doesn't have access, 
access to your things and to your energies here too. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy, the magician. So this, I'm gonna take this. This is a three of wands, and yeah, you're you're letting the past go. Through, um, so the three of wands and the six of cups. I feel like you're not really having a lot of great memories with this person. I feel like there was more bad than good. Three of pentacles. Yeah, this is the energy of like no longer wanting to work on this. I feel like he tried, but I feel like it never worked. If anything, it made you even more sick. Uh, because I feel like every time you spoke to this person and you felt like you had, you know, you had it worked out with this individual, I just feel like, um, you know, you had high ex high expectations, and I feel like those expectations were never met. And I feel like you are basically releasing expectations of this person, releasing that they will ever do things correctly with you so libra i hope this was uh helpful i hope this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks